Can the principle of game in all of its manifestations be what makes a person unique, if considered from the perspective of the possible facets of one's technical task for this life? Or should the principle of a game be considered in a wider sense, as something that reflects the universal principles of life? I came to realize that, as of now, games are my biggest interest in the current reality. Now I'm finally studying to be a game designer and computer game director. Or should I look deeper at what kind of game it actually is, at specific roles I take on, such as the role of a doctor, a leader, or a father? Which of the gods could be considered the patron of games? Loki, of course, and other trickster gods can easily be called the patrons of games. As for the principle of a game, colleague, I would probably dig a little deeper. It's not about what role or character you take on in a particular game. It's about the philosophical outlook on the entire manifested reality as some sort of a game. You just perceive reality this way, as a 9D model that is indistinguishable from the habitual reality, mirrored by all five senses. That's the technology you have. It's a very interesting philosophical foundation, the basis of a worldview. Because if you look at this reality in exactly this way, perceiving it as a game and seeing yourself as a character, you will actually be able to explain a lot of things to yourself as well as to learn. Because you understand the cosmogony itself, the way reality was created. And this is the way it was created, designed and programmed. So there are algorithms, there are web designers, there are certain conditions for creating these programs, and most importantly, such a program will be predictable. It will operate according to the rules by which it was created. When you look at reality and realize that reality is predictable, it ceases to be dangerous. Yes, there are dangerous elements, but the game itself can't be dangerous, because it's a video game, and it's impossible to really kill anyone in the video game. And so if you suddenly get killed at some game level, you will start from the last checkpoint. If you possess such a worldview, the learning process and experience would be much easier for you. You just have to believe in it, believe in it really strongly, like Neo believed in the Matrix, and then found it, and later even found those who got him out of it, and so on. The gamification of this world is just an effective explanation of reality. I can't say if it's a universal or real way, but at some stage of exploring the world, it can perfectly help and speed up all the processes. Because, as I said, you begin to see this reality as being predictable. If there are algorithms, then there are respective cracks, patches, and all the rest. And if they're there, then you can get them, or at the very least, buy them. And one begins to see this reality not as total undefinable chaos, but as a system of well-ordered algorithms that can be calculated. And this will greatly increase your efficiency, at least in the process of learning. So it's not such a bad method of comprehending reality. But most importantly, remember, don't stick to this method forever. Because if you do stick to it forever, you'll understand that you're going through the same quest over and over again, each time falling back to previous levels, always seeing the same decorations and the same awfully predictable characters. Eventually you will get tired of this, and will need to change your philosophical grounds in order to move to another level of interaction with the current reality.